Hi everyone, it's Katie and today I have a video request which is to share with you um, some of my recommendations for tarot channels. Now this came from a person who is fairly new to tarot and certainly very new to the tarot community and the only two tarot channels they are currently following um, is Ethany um, and myself um, and from what I gather from what this person was asking me they were looking for more um, discussion, education, informative um, sort of content. So as much as I and I'm sure many of you can appreciate tags and unboxings and those sort of channels um, and certainly I do plenty of that here um, here on my own channel um, I've tried to more incorporate channels that um, at least to a certain degree do are more discussional and educational and informative and certainly this is not an exhaustive list um, these are just the channels that came to mind um, that I currently what I'm really enjoying and what I personally am getting a lot out of and learning from I have made an effort to include people um, you know newer channels smaller channels bigger channels I've tried to include a big range of channels um, and so I hope that the person who asked me this question, I hope you find some channels you will really enjoy. And for anyone else watching, I hope you discover some new channels too. I did want to point out too that if you do find a channel that you really like, have a look at their home screen, so like their channel page. Um, because most, I think all channels these days, will have um, on the right hand side of the channel page will have um, suggested channels um, and this can be automatic from YouTube so just channels that YouTube has deemed similar um, to their own channel otherwise um, as creators we can select channels that we personally would recommend or that we really enjoy so if you're really enjoying a channel make sure to go have a look at their recommended or suggested or similar channels on their channel page because you might discover some other channels that way too so obviously in this question this person mentioned Ethany who is a wonderful um, tarot goddess here in the community. She has a tarot business, um, she does tarot readings, she has a tarot academy, she has a blog, she has a YouTube channel, all of the things. I will leave links to everybody that I mentioned below in the description. I also wanted to get out of the way two big fabulous tarot channels that I'm assuming pretty much everyone will know about. And that's Kellyanne Maddox, formerly of the Four Queens. She discusses tarot sometimes, um, but also more broadly spirituality, alternative spirituality, psychology, self-help, self-love, all of that good stuff. And of course the other big favourite amongst the community is Kelly from The Truth and Story. Um, Kelly, I would say her most useful videos as far as like learning the tarot would be her walkthroughs. I've also tried to do channels that are updating at least semi-regularly so channels that I love that haven't been around like nobody's posted in months years I haven't included those probably the only almost exception would be Imogen Walters um, Imogen is still around she's on Instagram and she posts intermittently on her YouTube channel but I wanted to mention her because I do think that what she does put up is really gold. It's good stuff. I especially like her tarot card by card series, um, which, you know, she hasn't finished. It's something that she just does um, as and when it feels appropriate. Um, and basically she just sits and chats for 20 minutes to half an hour, sometimes longer, about one card. And what I like about the way she does this is it's not just a list of what she's read in books or keywords or whatever. Um, you know, she starts with the generic meaning, but then she gives examples um, of lessons that she's learned in her life that has taught her more about the, that individual card. And so I think that's a really interesting, um, touching way to learn about the tarot is to see how other people have made an emotional, personal, um, experiential connection with the cards. I think there's a lot to learn in that. The next channel I would like to recommend to you is Atypical Tarot. Now this is a really cool channel that I only discovered a few months ago, um, but what I really like and why I'm recommending this channel um, is largely because he does a great job of doing like 10 to 15 minute videos talking about one card and like a connection with some other aspect of life or a lesson that this card has to offer. So his is a very interesting channel that, you know, definitely deals with the core meanings of the cards, but he does it in a very interesting and refreshing way um, with specific examples from his life and his lessons again, which I like. He's also done other videos on like the basics of tarot and things like psychometry. So a very interesting channel. The next channel I have on my list is Fables Den. Um, now I would say that I love love her instagram um, because she provides some really really fun spreads um like really fun um like quirky spreads about you know like they're kind of like gamer themed or just geeky nerdy playful spreads which i just i love those spreads um and as for her channel 
she kind of brings a bit of that personality into her channel too but I do really like the way that she kind of breaks down tarot and discusses slightly different topics around tarot that I don't always see discussed elsewhere. She did a video recently on anthropomorphizing um, decks which is actually something that I've been thinking about talking about too because I think it's super interesting and I did enjoy her video. She's also done videos about getting to know your deck, um, good questions or how to frame questions when you're reading for yourself, things like that. The next channel I will recommend is probably the most instructional of all those on this list and that is Georgina Toland. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. Um, I really like her videos. They're quite structured and um, you know she has set ways of doing things that she's teaching um, and so I don't necessarily you know implement all of those things into my practice or agree with everything for me um, but I do think especially when you're learning that kind of structure of this is how I do it and this is how I'm teaching you to do it can be really helpful. She shows spreads and techniques things like that does some reviews and suggestion videos she did a suggestion video regarding um, tarot books she did a spread I know recently about um, interpreting your dreams she's also done um, videos about how to determine timing with tarot and she also does quite a bit of Lenormand stuff too so there's a lot of stuff in there and I think a really good instructional channel. Next up is Insect Reflection which is a channel I spoke about recently in my February favorites video um, and I just really like this channel it's very new um, and I wouldn't say it's so much instructional or educational as discussion a really interesting discussion and an interesting take on the tarot as I said in that video my February favorites um, my absolute favorite video that I've seen in quite a while was queering the crone so queering the tarot of the crone which was an awesome video and I highly recommend it um, she also does uh, um, a advice witch I think they're called um, so people can send in questions and she'll do a reading kind of like anonymously on camera and I do like I think um, seeing other people do readings like that can also be very helpful when you're learning so it is still a new channel not a huge amount of videos up there but I do think that what is up there is quality stuff and I'm really enjoying that channel next up is the lovely Jessie Huntenberg now Jessie kind of similarly with Kellyanne she discusses a lot of things primarily I would say she's more focused on personal development um, she also does quite a lot of witchy stuff which is cool um, and then kind of in amongst all of that is tarot and she is a tarot reader um, and she has this running series called real talk tarot where she kind of picks a topic and then draws cards that are relevant to that and discusses you know how you know they provide different lenses or different um, ways of looking at or interpreting that topic um, I know most recently she did politics and relationships so she discussed for politics cards like justice and for um, relationships cards like the lovers and I think the two of cups too. Next is Maven Unmasked and she certainly does do a lot of more unboxings and reviews and stuff um, but in amongst all of that she also does do more instructional discussion videos. I know she's recently done like how to bond with your deck um, and she's also done how to cleanse and clear a new deck when you get it or if you've gotten it in a trade. She's also spoken before about how she works with crystals and the moon and things like that in her practice too. The next is the wonderful Annika from Nobody Here. Um, her channel is so interesting and it's the sort of channel you want to sit down and just absorb. Um, you know, I don't always comment, I don't always comment on many videos that I watch, but I also find myself with Annika's channel either having a lot to say or just wanting to take a step back and think about what she said. Um, now I would say that her channel isn't informative, it's not educational, it's discussion based. Um, and it is basically her discussing the thoughts she's having, the experiences she's having around tarot, what she's learning um, and how it's influencing her life and her practice and her journey with tarot. Um, and it's deep. Um, it's personal and it's deep and it's interesting. I have a couple of channels left to tell you about and one is Samantha Menzo's channel. Now again she does a lot of unboxings and stuff um, and reviews and hauls which is awesome and I love to watch um, but why I'm mentioning her for this video um, is because the when she does kind of sit down and discuss things I really really appreciate her take on things and I find it very interesting and she has a way of delivering that is very sincere um, but also you know quite uh, expressive with her opinions which I, I appreciate. Um, one video that I really liked recently is why she doesn't finish somebody else's reading for them. Um, so just chatting about a few reasons why if somebody comes to her having kind of half done their own reading why she won't 
you know, finish it for them and tell them what it means. Another video that I just loved that she did recently was a bit of a Q&A video with her grandmother. Her grandmother has been reading tarot since the 70s, is into astrology as well and all of that stuff, so just just listening to um, the two of them and their dynamic, but also just the experience um, of her grandmother was really beautiful. She's quite funny and it was just awesome. And last but not least, certainly not last because he's not one of my favorite, but last because alphabetically he's last, um, is Tom Benjamin. Um, I've spoken before about he has been one of my favorite channels for a very long time and I stand by that still. Um, especially at the moment if you're interested in Sibylla or Marseille, that's kind of his focus at the moment on his channel. Um, but I also just find um, he kind of will explore or discuss what he's exploring currently with the tarot um, and do a lot of experiments. Um, he talks about, you know, I'm just trying something out and I'm doing it on video to see how it goes. And um, so it's fun watching somebody else learn and inevitably you learn a lot um, watching that as well. I also really appreciate his approach, which is to balance um, or move away from the strictly spiritual psychological um, use of tarot and to get really practical with it too. And I'm a big fan of Ben and have been for quite a while so I couldn't I couldn't leave him off this list. Of course I would love to hear your recommendations because I'm sure there's people I've missed and I'm sure there's plenty of people that I don't even know about yet. So if there is somebody that you love to watch in the tarot sphere um, who you've learnt from, who teaches you things, whether that's directly through educational content or more discussions and things like that, I would love to hear those recommendations below. And of course, I here on my channel try to do a mix of um, tarot unboxings and reviews and chatty fun tags um, along with more discussions um, and me sharing my thoughts on tarot um, and then I also do pagan alternative spirituality stuff a little bit of mental health I also have my therapeutic tarot series um, which is all about me sharing how I use tarot um, for my mental well-being and mental health maintenance so if you're interested in that do go ahead and subscribe and I will talk to you all again next time so much love bye